Good morning, Virgo. Happy to have you here in my channel, Joy to the World. I am your reader, Melissa Joy. I'm here sound side by the water, so hopefully you'll hear some delicious lapping sounds in the background and getting the beautiful rays maybe cast it off my sunglasses. I don't know. Look, look. Do you see my camera right there? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, the whole big thing. So, oh, okay. I see. I see. So certain cards were already pulling themselves out going, hey, let us speak. There's a bit of Six of Swords. There's the Ace of Swords. So it's saying roll over and let Jimmy take over. And it's talking about step over your own dead body. Get out of those self-limiting beliefs. There are things that you've been a certain way and like there's a public you and apparently there's a private you or an unedited version of you. What you would think the unperfect version of you, the kind of cut and loose version of you, but it's beautiful and it's divine and I love it. That who you are, this is you through and through. You should feel this magnificence all the time. That there shouldn't be a bit of a sensor from the way you dress to the way you speak to your sense of humor and whatever else. Because it just shows that bit of an internal struggle going on. Like, I don't, these energies don't seem really complimentary and I need to kind of match the group because Virgo is very service oriented. And um, laying aside oneself for another. So they're asking you not to lay yourself aside anymore. It's not parsley on the plate that you're bringing in, babe. It's like lamb, yeah. It's like crawfish pie. It is like blunt cake. I don't know who the blunt cake is, but whoa, whoa, dear. But look what it's done. Magnificent, mighty, highest of heights is your highest self. The natural delight of who you are. Natural. So let your natural self shine, shine through, Virgo. And I can see, you can see, well, let me cover it. There's that little bit of just like side eyeing it. Like, I think I can, but I think I can, but. But I would say get rid of that Neptunian fork. You see how warbled -y it is? It's distorted. It is, you ha it's a bit of a distorted perception about what it is about you. You're saying what you are, you know, what is about you and how it's perceived by others. Let it flow. Let it go. And if you're my friend Jessica showing up, woo woo, I love you, girl. You amazing. But you got things to do on this planet. You're gonna turn it up. You're gonna light it up. You bring in a happy day. It's so unassuming. It's unassuming. That is the power of your magic. Mm, I say let your flame fly. Let it come on out. Let it warm the hearth fires of people's hearts who've also been through that distortion. And just by you being your human self, being it, it's the most powerful example out there because it's not teaching and coaching and, and correcting and whatever else. It's just being you and it's like moving all about and everybody's like, oh, they're okay with themselves. I guess I can be okay with myself here. I can just let my guard down and I can just begin to ease out because how beautiful to be in a place where you don't have to be guarded. You don't have to be guarded because if you think about it, wealthy or famous or prominent people have guards to protect the goods. So if you have your guard up, then you ought to know it's the goods, baby. It is the goods. Just ponder that for a moment. It's the goods. So now be in safe spaces where that guard can come down. Maybe it's navigating other places and getting comfortable. If you'll start there, you'll become more comfortable with being your authentic self, your whole self, everywhere you are. And it's not that um, you're throwing it out there because that's convoluted too. It's just that you're at ease and, and the music of your soul can come out wherever you are. Wherever you are. i got to cover some more. But see, here's this dynamic labyrinth that you're trying to navigate to figure out the spiritual implication of what others read and see when they see you. I love that car because the feathers are made of fur. That's how you are naturally. You're this, so many worlds coming together when there are people setting up. It's super early, but everybody's trying to get set up for the 4th of July today, going, here's my space, staking their claim, whatever else. You know, they're owning it. So own it, friend. Let's get into a little bit more of Cosmic for you. To see about this owning it, it um, is it really important because it seems to be, it impacts your spine, it impacts your 
it's a compounding effect. It impacts vagal nerve is what we're gonna say. So it can add stress to your life. There's that sun showing up. Look at it. Look at how many facets to your sun. How amazing you are. You're way more dynamic and developed than you give yourself credit. Don't judge because of what the world measures as to mature, developed, master, whatever else. Oh, when someone is at peace with who they are and they enjoy who they are, that is the greatest level of what the world would call accomplishment, mastery, uh, self-control, whatever else. Now, it's, it's that human connection with yourself. That is your divine self. I know my divine self has a fantastic sense of humor and I absolutely love it. So let's see if there's anything else in here for you. And that'll do away with that old dismal mindset of what the Ten of Cups is. See, they're all overflowing, but look at you holding yourself back. Not feeling expressive because you could have all the things that the world says makes you happy and, and not be happy. It can be overflowing and all that and have no satisfaction or fulfillment. And that's what we're talking about here is you're getting that satisfaction and fulfillment. Ooh, it's warming you up. Look at that. It's a brand new beginning. Look at you being able to put that shield and that guard down and trust that your golden self, your true self, your whole self, your glorious self is the only power you need. It's the only power you need. So you don't have to be in places to protect yourself anymore. And if things start trying to come up against you like that, if you got the power to leave, you're like, mm, I'm grown. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we can be thankful for that. We can be thankful for that moment that comes to say, hey, is this you? Is this you anymore? Will you take this from me? Are you going to sit here? I don't know where she went, but the one, that 10 of cups, that was so sad, all curled up in herself. Because see, when you are so comfortable and at peace with who you are, other people want to test that or poke it or provoke it or reduce the grand tree that you are down to a pencil or some matchsticks or some you know, here today, gone tomorrow type energies. No, 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 no. You can just come either step off or step away. And not just through your words, just with the power of your presence, friend. That power of your presence in your presence is powerful. Now I love it because even though this is called the hermit card, this is the star card because this is the power of your presence. That, you know, who I am, I don't have to rely on you to complete me. I don't have to uh, do away with who I am in order to please you. That's why you were, you know, furling up and curling up and, and kind of like disguising it or, or protecting it or whatever else. But you don't have to do that anymore because that was causing you stress, physical stress, financial stress. You'd say financial stress. How? When we are stressed, our system reads distorted it begins to distort things. Can you see that going on over here? It begins to distort things, right? And that's why it creates stress. Stress is the acknowledgement that the system is already distorting. So if you find your face getting tight, your shoulders getting tense, your chest getting tight, your mouth kind of getting, oh, you getting upset or whatever, instead of judging yourself, go on, put your self control on, be kind, be nice. Start realizing like, Especially if it's people you've been familiar with, liars, right? That's that distorted energy going on. Then you can just walk away. You can step off or you can speak up, whatever it is that needs to happen there. But it's no longer you having to continue to shrink and take it, shrink and take it, you know, to withdraw, to go away. Because this hermit's like, I'm fine right up in my space. It's like, can't touch this, right? All right, friend. Hey, leave me some comments, some emojis, something down below. Let me know you stopped by. It gets me juiced up and it gets this channel rolling and going. Also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you here and give it a like, share, whatever else. Enjoy the sunshine. Know I love you. Bye, Virgo.